Hi. In this instance, we'll be doing another tutorial about Eagle. Uh, a common question we've been getting uh, lately is about uh, finding components in the Eagle library. Um, in this tutorial, we'll do a short tutorial about using the search functions of Eagle. Um, we'll go ahead and just give you a brief description of what you see in the Eagle control panel. In the Eagle control panel, you could use it as a browser to browser libraries. I always expand this tree right here. And you notice that you see all the libraries. Um, as you click on each library, you'll get a brief description of the content of the library. If you expand that particular library, you'll see the devices for that component and the variants that are available. In this instance here, you have the three gates that consist of the uh, 40XX component and the physical footprint that there is. Now there's two options for the physical footprint. There's the surface mount version of it as well as here is the DIL version of it. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and open up a brand new schematic. Oh, before I do that, I wanna let you know that these green dots here, what that means is that that library is currently in use. So whenever I'm working in a schematic, when I do the add command to add components to my schematic, that library will appear. If I was to do a right click here and click on use none, you see the green dots go to the gray small dot, meaning that the library will not appear. If you only want some libraries to appear, you could click on them and you notice that the green dots gets enabled. That means that only those libraries will appear when I'm in the schematic using the add command. I'm gonna go ahead and enable them all for this uh, example. Now, um, we'll go ahead and do file new schematic and open up a brand new schematic and now I'll go ahead and use the add command. Man, it's a couple of seconds to load. Um, yes, because it's loading all the libraries and uh, taking a quick look at their database. Now, you notice on the bottom left corner of the add com a dialog box, there is a field that is the search field. Let's say for example, I'll do a search for a timer, LM555 asterisk. The asterisk is used as your wild card. So it would it means it'll look for any characters in the front, any characters in the back, and in somewhere in the content of the name of the component, it's gonna look for the LM555. In the linear library, it actually did find a device um, with that configuration name. Now you notice that in the linear library I found two. The first one is actually using an SO8 package and the second one is using a DIL package. If you click OK, you'll, you'll have it attached to your mouse cursor and you could go ahead and place it. Okay, um, I'll go ahead and click on stop. Now, if you were to use the add command to for a physical component, let's say I was gonna look for a DIL 08, <clears throat> it'll come up blank. Why? Because in the schematic, Add, in the schematic editor add dialog box it's only looking for logical elements in other words it's looking for components in their logical configuration not in their physical footprint configuration if you were to be looking for a package in its physical footprint configuration then you would actually have to go over to the board editor so from here from this schematic I'll go over to the board it's a blank board and from here I'll go ahead and do the add command Now the add dialog box does come up, again, very similar to the way in the schematic. Now I will go ahead and do asterisk DIL 08 asterisk and hit enter. Now, the, now it will do a search for all of the libraries, but it's only searching for the physical footprints because we're in the board layout editor, okay? And now it found all of the libraries that actually contain a DIL 08, okay? This has been a brief tutorial of how to use the search functions in the add dialog box in the schematic and on the board. If you have any questions, please contact our support at support at catsoftusa.com. That is support at catsoftusa.com. My name is Ed. Thank you very much.